Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will continue my discussions on the Samaritan by John Lara. And today, we will be looking at Act 1 still, and we will consider Scene 2, Episode 1. So, the Scene 2 occurs at the Maracas municipality and the mayor's boardroom. While scene one took place at the end year, that is on the closing day around 10 a.m., this scene now takes place on the second Monday January the following year. In attendance are uh, Mosi Watunya, that is the mayor of Maracas municipality. There is Ian Jaden, the principal judge, Maracas municipality. There is Bembe. That is the Inspector General of Police, Maracas. There is Harvester, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Maracas Municipality. There is Ted, and Ted is the Secretary. Department of Health and Environment. There is also Honorable Seymo, who is the Secretary, Department of Development and Planning. These are some of the officials. Uh, then Ramde, I forgot Ramde, who is the deputy mayor of Maracas municipality. So these are the characters who are featured in this episode. So for the purposes of the discussion, I will divide this scene two into two episodes. That is, the first part will be with all these municipality officials having deliberations. Then the second part, the principal Ian Jaden would have staged a workout. I'm going to use the literary triangle in discussing it. So this is what we will call a literary triangle with three vertices. On the upper vertice, we are going to have characterization, then the base vertices. On one side, we will have aspects of style. And on the other side, we will have thematic concerns. At the middle, we have the plot, that is the storyline. So, 
uh, briefly going through the storyline, there is what we call newspaper jitters. And uh, Mosi Watunya, the mayor, fears the onslaught by the various magazines. He has advised Harvester, who is the CEO, to buy all the newspapers so that they should not get to of the populace. So, like the first newspaper, the Caribbean Watch, has this as the headline that municipal leadership, a criminal enterprise. The Sentinel, municipal le leaders stripped naked. The Insight, another paper, has as the headline wrought in Maracas. Municipal Council exposed. Then the spotlight has municipal leaders face imprisonment. So Monsieur Antonia, the mayor, states that as a result of uh, what is on the papers, he has decided to call this crisis meeting and is also specific on the officials whose departments have been adversely mentioned in uh, the papers. When they begin to deliberate, Ian Jaden, who is the principal uh, judge, seems to suggest that this, this could only be a normal onslaught by the media and that they just need to be given some boxes of chocolates, signifying maybe bribery. Bembe, the Inspector General of Police, suggests that the media should be threatened. That is when Mosi Atunya comes out and says that he really believes that whatever finds their way into the papers are as a result of the Samaritan Act. So going forward, we are exposed to the various accusations against the municipal officials that have been carried by the various papers. And one such accusation is for Ted, is against Ted and Seymour. It is mentioned in the papers that they have companies that bill the municipality a lot of money, but in the end, they supply air to mean that they bill the municipality a lot of money, but in the end, they supply no goods, they supply no products. Again, Bembe, the Inspector General of Police, has also been mentioned adversely as his Madingo Golf Club, which he has put up, is being questioned that the money used to build the Madingo Golf Club are as a result of the proceeds of the police bribing people on the road, those innocent and those guilty alike. Again, there are also accusations of drug trafficking. There are accusations of municipal uh, members inflating the cost of projects. There are accusations of municipal members engaging in what we call conflict of interest, that is, using their proxies to earn municipality tenders. There are also accusations of municipal cal capture. 
where the interests of the mayor and other officials override the public interest in as much as public policy is concerned. Then finally, towards the end of uh, this episode, the, mun the municipal leaders now begin to uh, kind of give suggestions, suggestions on what ought to be done. So there are a lot of suggestions on the table, uh, like uh, Bembe suggests burning the app, and that one is quite backed by Mosi Atunya, who is the mayor. Hacking is also on the table, hacking of the Samaritan app. There is also bribery, as Seymour suggests, that those who write on the Samaritan app should be bribed. Uh, basically, that is what form part of the plot in uh, this episode. The jitters in the newspapers, the accusations carried in those newspapers, and then lastly, the suggestions of the way forward by the municipal uh, officials. And uh, that brings us to the characterization here, and we already have the characters here. We have Mosi Atunya. So his action of advising Harvester to go and buy newspapers from the various vendors so that it should not reach the public is kind of fearful. He comes out as someone who is fearful. Again, being uh, accused of municipal culture uh, capture brings him out as uh, corrupt. Those among many others are the character traits for Mosi Atunya. Ian Jaden, when Mosi Atunya subtly tries to blackmail him that every one of them has skeletons in the closet, Ian Jaden sarcastically mentions that he is not a reptile. And the look at him brings about the irony, like he says that it's never a mistake to commit some of these crimes that they are being accused of. But what matters is the how. In short, he is confessing that is also part of the system. Yet, he stays a walkout that he does not want to be part of the malicious plans they have. So that brings him out as a hypocrite. For truly, he is corrupt. We also have uh, Bembe. We also have Bembe as a character. And uh, Bembe is also corrupt. Bembe is corrupt because his Madingo Golf Club that he has put up is being questioned that he built it out of the proceeds from using the policemen on the roads and taxing money from the innocent and the guilty alike. Ted, at the beginning, appears indifferent to the meeting going on up to the moment that his name is mentioned as one of the people supplying air to the uh, municipality, yet their companies bill a lot of money. Of course, that brings him out as corrupt, a trait that they share with Seymour. Seymour, who is also malicious, uh, coming up with 
uh, plans and giving suggestions on the grounds which they ought to use to uh, shoot down or to burn the Samaritan up. He says that maybe they can talk about uh, cyberbullying, they can talk about the app as spreading pornographic materials in various schools as ways of burning that given uh, app. Then there is Harvester. Harvester is loyal when the mayor Musi Atunya advises him to buy all the newspapers from the vendors, he does that out of loyalty. He is also honest and that comes out when Musi Atunya suggests that they should uh, uh, do the hacking, they should hack the Samaritan app. He says that it is a crime. So after that, we move to the various dominant aspects of style found in this episode. But before that, viewers, if you are watching this for the first time, allow me to kindly request you to hit on that subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Again, to my subscribers, I continue to thank you so very much. One aspect of style that uh, comes out is that there is there is the use of the idiomatic expression and when, that comes out when Mosi Atunya, the mayor, tries to in a, a clever way blackmail Ian Jardin into offering them legal representation in the court should the matters find their way into court. He says that all of them have skeletons in their closet. So this could mean that all of them have a case to answer in as much as the allegations are concerned. So the word skeleton also becomes metaphorical. There is the use of that metaphor because uh, Ian Jaden, uh, Seymour, and uh, the mayor keep on referring to the skeleton and in this case to mean the various messes or the various uh, corrupt practices that they have been uh, carrying out. There is also Sarcasm and Sarcasm comes about when Ian Jarin says that he is not a reptile so he could not be having any uh, skeleton. So these and many others are some of the aspects of style found there. Lastly, the thematic concerns. A common denominator in as much as character traits are concerned is that they are corrupt. So that means that the thematic concerns here, there is corruption. The mayor, Mosio Atunya, is also being accused of municipal culture, where his private uh, ideas, private uh, concerns or ones override the determination of public policy and that amounts to abuse of office. When Mosi or Atunya also tells uh, also tells Ian Jarden, the principal judge, that they all have skeletons in their closets, it is kind of a subtle blackmail. So those are the major aspects of style, again, that are found in that uh, first episode of scene two. Viewers, we come to the end of the discussion at that point. Watch out for the next video on the second episode of that scene. Until next time.
Thank you.